Hi guys. Hi guys. It was so much fun seeing you guys. We're back. So last week, your lesson was striking with your hand and you were keeping your eye on the objects and you tried all different body parts and you strike with your hand. This week, we're gonna use a short handled implement, which could be a tennis racket, a ping pong paddle, a frying pan, okay? Anything that's a little bit farther away in your hand than your hand. So you have to really keep your eye on it. And what's gonna happen will progressively get farther and farther away in our body. But today is short handled implements. So to start, we're gonna start with our superhero warm up. Are you guys ready? Everybody stand up, here we go. First superhero. So Spider-Man is our first superhero. We're going to take our legs apart and do a sumo squat. And with each one squat, we're gonna shoot a Spider-Man web. All right, you guys. Up and down, wide legs, toes pointing out. Looking great. Perfect. Awesome. All right, Vivian, do you want to grab the next superhero? I love this one. Next superhero is Wonder Woman, and we're going to do some lunges while we deflect with our bracelets. So we are going to lunge and deflect, and you can either jump or you can step back and lunge if you want to do a low impact version. Looking great, guys. Everybody knows Wonder Woman has those bracelets that deflect things away. All right, the next one is Hulk. Hulk. <clears throat> and for Hulk, we are going to do a Hulk smash. We're going to take our feet wide apart and we're going to jump and smash. You don't have to do the jump if you don't want. You can just do the smash part. And then soft guys, when you're on the ball, you can see if you're jumping. Great job, you guys. All right, the next one is okay. That was awesome. Got my heart rate up. No, and that one's long, that's like 13 minutes. So remember, you guys can do that whenever you can. Good job. Wow, listen to me breathing heavy. Maybe it's old age. All right, guys. So we're gonna go into our lesson. Striking with a, a short-handled implement. This is my tennis racket. Remember, the head, the face, the throat, and the handle. When we start, we stack square to the target. Perfect, Mrs. Bartlett. Mrs. Bartlett is using her hands I'm, I have the implement. So she's gonna put one hand on top of the other. She squared her a target. She's gonna put, uh, turn sideways and her hand comes low. She's gonna step, swing, and follow through like she's listening to a wristwatch. Ready, Mrs. Bartlett? Ready position. Side, step, follow through. Again, ready position, side, step, follow through. 
like you're listening to a wrist rock. That was really good, Mrs. Bartlett. Thank you. Um, one of the key things that I want you guys to see, uh, Mrs. Bartlett, can you see my marker? Yes. Okay. When I strike, the ball's way out in front of me. So I'm square. I'm square to my target. I turn sideways. Look at how far the ball is in front of me. If that ball goes beside me or behind me, it's going to go flying. So what happens is I start in ready position. I turn. I step. I hit and follow through. Notice when I step, it brings my racket right to the ball. OK. Could awesome. you see that, Mrs. Bartlett? Yeah, that was really good. That's really important. And remember, you want to step and swing at the same time. That's what's going to help you get the power behind the ball. So what's going to happen now is we're going to show you a couple of activities to do. Um, so the first one is this is actually called tennis hockey. And what you do is you use your hockey, use your racket like a hockey stick. And you sweep the head of the racket forward really low to the ground and strike an object. Remember that motion's low to high, low to high. So you're gonna swing and hit the object in front of you. You're gonna sidestep, swing, and bring it back up and it's gonna bounce back to you. So you put the object in front of you, square to your target, sidestep, swing, follow through. Awesome, and if you can, you can try to do that multiple times. I know some spaces might be small, so really, we're just looking for the motion, your yeah, form. My space, I'm really tight here. Yep, that's okay. As long as you're square, sidestep, follow through, and that ball starts out in front of you. Awesome job, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Thank you, Mrs. Bartlett. So that's when the ball's on the ground. What we're going to do next is we're going to move you on to hitting the ball more from the air. So you're, gonna, you're still going to have that spot. You're going to drop the ball in front of you. Remember, the most important thing is you watch the ball the whole time with your eyes. Um, you bring your racket head back, side step, strike the ball when it's at a medium level, and hit the wall and catch it. So you're going to drop it in front of you. Really short space. Yep. Step, follow through, and catch it. Good. It's hard. I know Mrs. Fitzgerald's in a tight spot, but... She's doing it. Remember, we're just really focused on that motion and keeping your eyes on the object. So that was really awesome. And if you have somebody to do it for you, you can have a partner drop the ball in front of you and strike it low to high so you guys can rally. Rallying is just hitting it back and forth when the ball hits the ground. Oh. So it's almost like you're playing a mini tennis game. Drop, hit, and you can drop and hit. There you go. Awesome job. And then just see how many hits you can get in a row. But remember, we're more looking for that motion, that low to high, the square side step follow through. That was awesome. Thank it's you, really Mrs. Hard. Remember, you can do this outside too, and you have to make sure you ask before you can do it inside. Yeah. And uh, make sure you have enough room. You're not going to hit anything or anybody. That's really important with everything that we do. So before we let you guys go, we have a couple questions. We just have a few important things we want you to remember. So Mrs. Fitzgerald, let's see if you can remember. What's okay. the most important thing to remember when you strike an object? Uh, I know, this is in everything, Mrs. Botley. You gotta keep your eyes on the object. Yes, super important. You watch it the whole time. And then this one's a little harder. Where does the ball have to be when you strike it? Oh, Mrs. Bartlett, I know that. I remember I showed you on the spot way out in front of me. My hand points at it way out in front of me. Yep, in front of you. Awesome. And do you remember any of the key words that we had talked about? Side. Step. Step. Follow through. Side, step, follow through. Awesome job. And when you turn sideways, where's the racket? What oh, this is, is really important, Mrs. Bartlett. The racket head has to be low. Yep. So I come back. My hand is down by my knee. That's really important because with tennis, it's always a low to high swing. Yep. Awesome job. That's so great. So remember, 
Those are the really, really important things you wanna remember. You might some see some of these on your exit ticket. So grade two, remember your information is in your Google Classroom and K and one, yours is gonna be on the s'more. So don't forget to answer them. We wanna make sure that you guys understand this. This is like really fun. This is fun. So there's all sorts of games and activities you can do with this as well. Yeah. So enjoy. We hope you go out and enjoy the weather. It's beautiful. Keep exercising. Out. And um, this is just something else that you can practice while you're out there. Yeah. Have a great uh, Memorial Day. Have a yes. great Memorial Day. And we will see you all later on Zoom. Bye. Have a great day.